Hello, Javi here from Guitar Paintings and uh, today I thought I would do a, a, a small tutorial on advanced arpeggio techniques. Um, and so this is, these are techniques that uh, I kind of came up with on my own but it's not, I'm not the only person that does it. I've seen electric guitar players do it a lot and flamenco players as well. Um, and uh, it's basically an extension of what we normally call an arpeggio. In flamenco and classical guitar, normally an arpeggio sounds something like this. And there's many combinations, whatever. Um, but I heard always from piano players um, in their studies and uh, in Chopin and these kind of fancy players, um, they extend the arpeggios uh, from, for all, all the keyboard. They start from really low down and they do an arpeggio that lasts for, for many, many octaves. And uh, of course in the piano it's easier to do. So I've tried to find ways of doing it on the guitar um, and I've come up with this kind of thing. Uh, if we start with a G major... And let me say before I continue that you should to understand what I'm gonna say, you should really know how to play G major in many places. So G major or whatever. Um, and you know that this, the, I'm gonna play many shapes of G. So this is G, that's G, that's G, that's G, that's G, that's G, okay? Um, how do you find this? Well, you could just look it up uh, in, a, in charts, I mean, there's plenty of places, uh, there's this caged system. Um, that people talk about. I how, I how did I do it? And I, I really recommend this, just work it out. I mean, you know G. You, I mean, it, this is a chord that one of the first chords we learned. So we can just follow this to, to find other, other ways to do it. I mean, from here, I could say, okay, um, there's a G, where, where is the next note that could be here? Okay, maybe it's that one. Okay, same note, okay, so, so, so that one in the 5th fret is gonna work, that's D. Uh, what's the next note? Okay, that's a note as well, so that's um, G, and that's G as well, so, yeah, so that's G, and that's uh, B, that's B, okay, so that is the same as that, okay, without this note, okay, we, we ate that. Um, and you can carry on this process and find many other, many other uh, positions, and um, all, all of these are G major. So, what we want to do is connect different shapes. Shapes. Um, how? So let's let's say um, you are uh, wanted to do some sort of G, and you want to end up here. So one thing I worked out was saying, okay, I'm gonna go G, B. That's the seventh fret. I continue the mm, G shape in the fifth fret. Fifth fret. Fourth fret. And then I slide. So that's hammer on. Sorry, I pluck, hammer on, pluck, 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 ham, um, slide, pluck, pluck, pluck. So, or, and you can do it backwards. Do it slowly. right hand I kind of worked what was best for me I kind of start with a thumb and then do an arpeggio maybe I do apoyando here so I press against the next string so and then I just go walking and what's what kind of things can you do this is what whatever you want uh, it could be a slow piece I don't know other chords and this is one of the main one of the best ways of doing it I think connected with other chords or for example okay, I'm just making it up now but um, this has its possibilities you connect the G with the next chord you're gonna play let's say I'm gonna connect it with a minor And my favorite uses are rhythmic. So if you're, I don't know, uh, yeah. So uh, 
uh, if you put it in read in time, it sound it will sound really good uh, and really fancy. One thing I did that I didn't comment before is you can always uh, play first an open string. So I play the E string and then hammer on. So two hammer ons. Yep. And uh, you can extend it to minor chords, so, so the A minor, I'm gonna connect it with this shape, so... Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh... You can you can um, make up your own exercises. So this was a A G F a flamenco piece, and uh, then you can start wondering. And I leave this kind of as an exercise because I think it's what's good is that you find ways of doing the things you want to do. Uh, you can try with with these chords that start in the in the fifth string. Uh, something and and I I haven't I have to say I haven't really found a good solution for this for these chords, but uh, it maybe looks something like this. So maybe. But uh, yeah, this this one I'll, I'll leave to you, and uh, and definitely if you find nice ways of doing this same thing with uh, chords that start in the fifth string or the fourth string, uh, let me know. And uh, if you make a video of it, I will publish in my in in my page for sure. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, click subscribe if you like this tutorial. There will be more coming. And uh, see you soon.